He's looking at you, kid. Mm. You know, I saw a video of myself. And in the video, I had this cup. And I had coffee with whipped cream. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go make myself one of those right now. Oh, I love coffee with whipped cream. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why I started this video. I should have had a little bit of this coffee first. All right, here. Mmm. I'm done. I have a very serious topic today. In fact, I even kind of dread talking about it, but I'm going to. I'm going to talk about pornography. Let me tell you what happened. You know, I love to watch a series on TV. And... You know, I find a good series and then I watch it for several days. And so someone had told me about this one called The Sinner. Great name for it, by the way. Great name for it. And so I watched the first series and it was a heavy, it was a heavy one, but but it was still good. By the way, this is Velma Hagar. Putting on my glasses today because my eyes are really twitching today. Pray for my eyes. And hit that subscribe button before I say another thing. Hit that subscribe button down there, okay? Okay, so now, my this series I'm watching. And the first series was, you know, it had a little bit of sex. I'm not a prude at all. You know, I, I watch things that have a little sex in them. It was okay. <clears throat> the second one comes on. And it's really got a good storyline. I mean, it's really engaging and, you know, I'm really into it. And I'm telling you guys, this scene came on and it was pure pornography. I mean, so pornographic, right? This is on Netflix. This is something your children could get in and watch if they wanted. Okay. And I'm telling you guys, I sat there, me, I sat there and watched it. I watched it. And I kind of, I, I kind of felt yucky as I'm watching it, but I still watched it. I'm not going to lie to you. So I go to bed. I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm telling you guys, I felt defiled, defiled. I am saying, oh God, please forgive me. I mean, I let that stuff go into my eyes and it was disgusting. It was like, I'm saddened by this. I'm saddened that our country <coughs> has come to a place where I can't talk about Donald Trump, you know, on YouTube. <laughs> but I could show pornography <coughs> and I could teach witchcraft and they wouldn't cut me off. I'm troubled by this, you guys. I'm troubled. That... I felt like I, what do you do? You know, when your hands get dirty, you get up and wash them. You wash your body when it's dirty. But what do you do when your mind, I felt like I could not apologize to God enough. I was like, my God, I'm a chaplain. And I'm a, I'm an ordained minister. And I watched that trash. I watched it. I mean, could I have turned it off? Yeah, I could have. And I didn't. Shame. My bad. My bad. But the point being I realize how intense that stuff is, you guys. It gets into your mind. And I mean, I couldn't hardly get it out of my mind. I kept seeing these figures and these things they were doing. Me, over and over. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. And I thought, what about some young boy that watches this? And then he wants to go out and he wants an orgy. He doesn't want just one girl. He wants to get into it with three of them at once because that's what they were doing last night. And I'm like, good God, we really need to do something about it. I mean, I'm 80 years old. What the heck can I do? I don't even know what to do. But if you're young, if you have any platform at all, that of anything you can think of to do, this should be stopped. This is horrifying. You know, our God must be so grieved with what's going on in our country. He must be so grieved and if you call yourself a liberal, shame on you. That's part of the liberal agenda. Crap. It's crap. I'm so offended by this, you guys. I'm like, ugh. 
we have got to tighten up our, our roles again. We've got to go back to our constitution, the way our forefathers set us up. Godly, taken from the Bible, and we're allowing this now in America. They say America's the number one country that produces pornography. Number one, us. Forgive me. I'm just like, I couldn't tell God I was sorry enough last night. I felt like I just couldn't even be forgiven. And I know this, that God forgives you. He says, if you ask for forgiveness and you really mean it, and you ask in the name of Jesus, he doesn't even remember your sin anymore. And whatever you've done, no matter what it is, God is so merciful that he will forgive you. And I had to say, I accept your forgiveness. I got up this morning, opened my doors and said, out of my house in the name of Jesus, you evil demonic things, out of my house. I mean, I actually let that come into my living room. I let it into my house. And if you're watching it or you're looking at stuff, you're letting it into your life too. And you know what? You'll never have the favor of God on you until you get holy. It's holy that God is looking for. A holy people, separated, come out from among them. You know, the ways of the world are wretched today. They're wretched. I hate to say it, but it is. So, I have my, am I forgiven? Yep. Thank God I'm forgiven. Thank God for the blood of Jesus, because if I weren't, I would feel like crap today. Yep, I entered right into it. Don't do it, you guys. Don't do it. You know, if there wasn't an audience, they wouldn't do it. All right, now let's get off that subject, because it was so, I hated it. It's just so aggravating to even think about what they're allowing in our country. We got to tighten up our rules. And if you call that conservative, then let's get conservative again. But we got to tighten up our, our laws. We can't allow this filth to run rampant with our kids watching it. And then when they go do something, you know, well, whatever made them do that? Well, they saw it on TV or they saw it in their games, their little games they play. All right. All right, you guys. Let me just tell you one other thing I want to say here. I said this on a, on my little uh, TikTok, and I like it. You probably saw the TikTok, but I'm going to repeat it. Do you know that every single change that has ever been made since the beginning of time was made with words? Words. It's for good or bad. Everything we say will either make it better or worse. Watch your mouth. I think I've been hammering the table on this one for five years. And you jerks are still using your mouth illegitimately. <laughs> All right. Listen up. All right. Well, I got that off my chest. And thank God for the blood of Jesus that I'm forgiven. And I'm not going to watch that thing again anymore. My God, that was awful. The Sinner. Great name, right? The Sinner. It's a no-no. You probably all go run to watch it. <laughs> well, if you do, you do. All right, you guys. Buy my books. Hidden treasures in secret places. Hidden treasures in dark places. Now, go get yourself a cup of coffee. Put some whipped cream on it. And as you drink it up, say, here's looking at you, Velma. Here's looking at you, kiddo. All right, you guys. Until next time. This is your, just your friend that is so disgusted, but still happy. And you know what? God wins in the end, too. Here's looking at you, kid. Stay away from the pornography. You hear me?